It's raining outside today, so we're going to do a little video inside. So, we've been harvesting some of our pears. And you'll notice that these are really quite hard. Pears, very, very rarely, will actually ripen well on the tree. So what you want to do, um, this one's a good example. Check it. And it's got a slight amount of give. Not a lot, not at the bottom. The bottom's going to be really hard. It's got a little bit of give on the top. Cut it off the tree. Yes, there you go, snipping off a little bit of the stalk. And then you get a brown paper bag. Put your pear in there. Get more than one if you want. Pop them in the bag and hold the bag together like that. Leave that, those two pears, in the bag anywhere between three days to a week. Uh, sometimes two days, uh, depending on how big your bag is. Um, and those will then ripen and become nice and soft and juicy. Um, and you can eat them once they've matured in the bag. If you leave them on the tree, they will just go from uh, hard to rotten very quickly. Um, and the reason behind it, there's actually some science in this, that when you cut a fruit, it starts to, to rot um, very, very slowly. So that's why uh, supermarkets try and get their fruit from um, harvest to the shop so you can buy it as quickly as possible. What you're doing in the bag is actually you're capturing some of those gases that the pears give off and that helps to ripen off in a very even manner. So that's how it works, okay? So brown paper bags, if you have lots and lots of pears, what you can do, you can wrap each one in brown paper and put them in a big tray, okay? And then you can store them for a week, couple of weeks, and then you'll have ripe pears, okay? So, pears, ripen in a bag, don't ripen them on the tree. Toodaloo.